I don't. <laughs> the car goes flying into the lake. Our mood. Oh, That's what you get if a child drives. Stark. But I'll okay. get us there. So you watch. Oh, sorry about Woo! that. Woo! Uh, War 2. Hello, Billy. You guys will hear me. Um, if I forget to mute myself, you're gonna hear angry Russian in the background, so I'm sorry about that. How are you doing, Billy? Oops. Hey, Asgore. Sorry for the late start. The bathwaters are here! Welcome. Welcome to Ella. Oh yeah, I can tell. Thank you so much for following Lucy and Claire, I appreciate it. The bath waters are here. Hey Rai, hey Old Milk. Hey Mochi. Oot Milk! <laughs> Mood. Did you say Oat Milk or Old Milk? Oot! Oh, Oot Milk, oot. sorry. I need to put on my glasses, give me a second. <laughs> no, it's okay. It is, I'm pretty sure it's Oat Milk. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, oh sorry friend. for the debate. <laughs> yeah, we're on Ether today. Yes, we are on Ether. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys something in a second after I put on my glasses. Ugh. Right, tell your husband. Mom said it's my turn with the PC. Exactly. Hey Mercury, how's the bells? Hey Blue. It is you made Ellen. Raymond! <laughs> oh my god. You can't come visit, your husband is playing on League? Oh my god. Imagine playing League. Yeah, that seems right there. Without the glasses. So. Hey Lucian. Welcome oh, to the he does glasses. I got nothing, so I had to hit the mailbox up real quick. There we go. Hey guys. How are you guys doing? Alright, so... Bit of a late start, sorry about that. Um, tonight, Ashen is not gonna join us, Sally, for the tech stream. Uh, something came up, so tonight you're gonna have to deal with uh, me streaming, which is, I know it's a pain, but, you know, it's just for that on stream, hopefully. <laughs> um, it's All my ego redoing my house. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you, I'm glad you got inspiration from us. Make sure to post those screenshots once you're finished. Thank you. I like that you read E girl when it just says girl. You know, the re after it really <laughs> put throw me off. It really threw me off. <laughs> so I said just... E girl. <laughs> of course you said E girl. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Where's the. Where's the material supplier? What did you do with the material supplier? Uh, it's somewhere. You have enough space. You can put them somewhere. <laughs> I need one, but it's uh, like no. I mean, like literally, where is it? It's not in the list. No. Um, you maybe stole it's in the my material maybe it's in my yeah. yeah, so I'm um, oh, Zoe said met Gil, not girl, in the first place. So <laughs> no. it was all the way wrong. <laughs> e girl, Gil. The same What's the thing. Difference? I don't have the um. The license on me, so oh. it is somewhere. I didn't delete you it. Stole my materials. Probably somewhere in the. Is it? Is it not somewhere in the? Oh. I looked, but anyway, yeah. So. Yeah, let's. <laughs> while the while I deal with this. Yeah. While I deal with this, Div wants to talk about his uh, garlic build. Yeah, kind of. Let's like so to um, let you guys know what we're gonna do today. So basically. Today's a tech stream, so basically we are gonna do some technological items on BIDs, some contraptions that we built on stream, and what we have seen so far. So since we had like some people asked us to do some computers, some monitors, uh, some washing like wash fridges, machines. TVs, TVs get TVs. asked about a lot. Exactly, yeah. And um, since I finished this build yesterday, um, it is very technological. There's a lot of um very futuristic stuff. We're gonna look over it today. I'm gonna explain to you, um, oh my god, I just noticed your name, Stream Boy Synthman. Wow. Um, RP Tech. <laughs> he will be RP Tech, exactly. Um, we're gonna look over it. I'm gonna uh, explain to you guys what my thought process was. So, since we have a lot of metal here and it's gonna be important for, um, 
for you guys to understand how we come up with stuff like that and how others come up with stuff like that. And since uh, Sint was with me and we streamed a bit of this, like the first, I think like we did two streams of this build where we did the oh, layout yeah. of the door and when we did some glitching for the vents up there, which didn't lead much, uh, lead, didn't lead anywhere, but you know. Um, so we're gonna look over it first. I'm gonna uh, explain the thought process better. Then we're gonna move on to build some of those technological things together. So also, if you guys have any ideas or like have any wishes, we have like a set list for what we want to do. But if you guys come up with something or like ask, want to know how to build something, we can also consider that. So I look forward to it. All right, shall we start with the uh, build itself? So let's start with your your hologram. The hologram, you want to start with? Or, well, your like transmission of Sid, yeah, yeah. the Sid titty. Okay, so this was something that we did on stream too, or like we did the concept of it. Um, Ashen suggested that I'm gonna use the uh, the Sid, the cursed Sid, in some way, and I thought about it as like a transmission, less like a la laggy transmission in this case. So over here we have like this entire computer communication array set up, and I stacked three sit paintings so because the texture is on the same layer like on the exact same like what x x or y axis no z axis um that means that the texture is gonna <laughs> which like, one yeah i it, it's <laughs> one of them i think y was like um, up and down so um yeah it's on the same x yeah so basically as you can see if i move my camera a bit around you see how the texture starts glitching so this is gonna supposed to be like a transmission that is a bit laggy, so it is a bit, it's a bit more immersive when you actually visit this house. So as you as you walk around, you see how he's glitching a little bit, which is kind of cool. It's a cool feature that we wanted to implement since without it, it would just look very static and uh, you know just like shrine. It looked like a shrine, yeah. yeah. And now it looks like, sadly I couldn't get a keyboard and it was very hard to do, but you know we got some other features in here. So for example, you will see a trend in this build. Um, which is basically, I spam those storm armor wars and the storm um, strong boxes a lot because there's a very neat effect here. Um, they have a very unique texture to them, this very metal framing here. And I'm gonna show you the full item in a second and I'm gonna show you how I integrate it in different places. For example, I have two. Mm -hmm. What happened? Oh, I gave him glasses. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, he's back to his normal self now. So, in this case here, we have those two strong boxes here hidden inside a floated Riviera bookshelf. So, I'm turning the light up. Can't yeah. see shit. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. So, don't do don't, don't do that scent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting asked about this a lot. This is a Riviera bookshelf, and this is floated from below. And the bookshelf part is um behind those uh, flame. Strong boxes. Hang on, let me see if I can grab them actually because that's gonna be finicky as shit. I was gonna say, you're gonna break shit. Like. Uh, yeah, probably. So. But yeah. Oh, oh, there's one. There we go. So. Oh, oh, you almost got it. I'm like yeah, that I got it. insurance so, commercial. <laughs> inside there, there's another storm armor floated up for the metal part up here. So behind that are the books. So I can go down later to the uh, basement and show you guys that too. So, um, let's see. We have a strong boxes here, we have three bookshelves here because I wanted to cover the slides here too. So you have a very nice metal framing using a vast array of items. And in this case I use the flame boxes for a bit of a contrast because we have a lot of very grey metal here, all to the side. And to break up to break it up a bit and use a different texture, I use the flame storage boxes here. And they are like a bit darker and like more brownish, but if you turn the light down, like as it's supposed to be, you can't tell the difference. So it's a very nice black shade. And up here, um, we have something that we will see in our uh, different combinations, which is those vents up here. Those are, um, what are they called? Plates? Are they called wooden plates? plates. Yeah, yeah, they're just called wooden plates. Yeah, those are just wooden plates inside a, in this case, it's in a backwards aquarium. No, actually, sorry, this is a stage, uh, a rectangular partition, a black one. So what we have here is basically those vent things are just a stack of different plates glitched into it, just a pixel showing. So it's just that nice straight line here. So it looks like it's part of the machinery, but it's just four plates, <laughs> basically. And um, I rounded it off in here with like 
this metal beam right here and on the other side mirror too that's a Riviera cupboard so it's just the side of it it's a different item too again and I will show you the behind the scenes afterwards so you guys can tell um I turned a but yeah we used the plates for what did we start using them with the, the TV? TV I think it was the TV yeah yeah it was the size of a TV so basically some kind of exhaust uh, air thing basically a <laughs> filter if you want right. to say that too um, it was really also cool. a microwave they were used. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, now now she's, she's, now she's, now yeah. she's microwave. We're gonna build something similar to that too, so that would be nice. And then I use a uh, aquarium here to make like a screen and rounded it off here too. And yeah, that's basically it. It's like you will see a lot of items repeating themselves. Like the strong boxes are gonna be very present here. The bookshelves are extremely present. Aquariums a lot. And of course the armoires, you will see. Um, so, uh, what should I show next? So the next thing... Oh yeah, can you... Show us... I'm gonna turn the lights on. Show us the, because... the Mako. The what? The Mako. Your Ceruleum tank. Oh yeah, okay, so... It freaking looks like a Mako container. Yes. I, I got told that on Twitter too when someone said that, like, uh, it looks like... Or maybe like I've just from... been watching too much Seven Remake. <laughs> yeah. So, in this case, um... Initially, it was supposed to be like a water container built by, uh, what was their name again? Uh, with the armor, uh, with the armor. Um, oh, uh, you, you I, mean like the one with the the, the cyborg? Yes. So. Uh, oh, I don't remember their name. I will link their name uh. later after the stream. I will show you guys because that's an amazing build, and I want. I was so inspired by it to do something like that, and but things have changed, <laughs> ironically after. <laughs> Uh, Rhapsody and Perry already got farmed the armor for me, the PvP armor. I'm sorry about that, my boy. <laughs> the so, armor, yeah. yeah. And I we decided not to use weeks. it. <laughs> they farmed weeks. Weeks. FAQ times were horrible, but in the end, I decided to go for a Ceruleum tank because it would make much more sense in here to have a Ceruleum tank since I didn't want to make like an armor shop or something like that, but something more simple. Just a simple workshop. So in this case, I changed it to the Ceruleum tank, and Ceruleum is the uh, oil-like resource that the Guardians use, and that is being uh, brought to daylight by, uh, in Camp Blue Frog, for example. So it's a very, uh, very important resource for them. And this is something that I wanted to have here as like a tank. So you see the pipes up here using mason work, um, not mason work, uh, manor stops, right? And some, of course, some like. What would you call drains and stuff like that up here? You will see those drains a lot because it's it's good for both um, water filters and for air filters. So you will see those in many things in here. And again, we have these storm armors on the side for the metal grid and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and, vents, yeah. vents, drains, yeah, whatever. And since it's just like a flat texture, you can just basically grab the up. It's the side of the armor, so you just glitch it with pixel further to inside the wall and you're done you just have that when vent part is a flat surface which is really nice um yeah so timbers thing timbers thing was it timber I f oh wait did timber do oh no 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 i meant did like next oh yeah did yeah, you want to talk about so, timbers arcade so, yeah so this was initially this terminal right here um, lights up oh lights up okay It is so dark on stream. That's looks that's like good. that's good. I don't know right? Fallout. <laughs> I, yeah, it is very Fallout, -y, which I really like actually. Um, so this is in base idea by Timber over on Twitter. Um, she did an arcade machine using the uh, monitors, the Omega monitors, and using two of the flame desks, which is basically just a flame desk here and one floated up there, and like a box inside here. And this is basically her design, and I saw that arcade machine, and I made it a bit simpler, and it acts as, like, as a terminal here, which I really, really like. It's like some kind of, like, bit older, um, like some remnants, and it's basically like a control system for the Cerulean tank, which I really like. And I just added, again, the strong box down here and stuff like that. And this is also where the message book is located, so there we go. Oh, wow, as soon as I clicked on it. <laughs> Um, so basically, as soon as you... Okay, this is some, something I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, 
as soon as you walk in you will see the glow and you can click on it and it's gonna be the message book because in a high technological build you don't want like a very old school book with cool and stuff like that right so you want to hide it like that so yeah that would look a little out of place if you just had like the the message stand book and a like feather quill over on the side exactly and i was figuring out how, how am i gonna hide it without making it look how without making people skip it people skip it because i knew oh god are people gonna find it so the glow is helping a lot which i just removed ironically <laughs> by uh, picking up the book um so usually you'd see a blue glow just like before so something that i want to touch upon is this issue over here um <laughs> as you can see there's uh oh my god the bath waters um there's a lot of ah, orange <laughs> light uh, seeking, uh, seeping through. This is due to the backs of the fireplaces I used as like the pattern here on the wall as the panels. Um, and on everything above light level zero, it's causing issues. So it's gonna seep through the more light you have. But as soon as you turn to uh, turn to zero, you see like there's some remnants if you go far away, but it goes away. And it's gone. I have no idea why, and the more light sources you add, uh, the worse it gets. So like this seeping through here, it wouldn't even show without all of the additional light sources I put in place later. Since um, we have quite a few of those, I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, the um, so I was just gonna cut in go quickly. Ahead, the go best, ahead. the best theory that seem to have regards to like kind of that kind of light is that any sort of like ambient light that isn't the direct light. True. It I mean, seems it seems to be coded like the same as like the chandelier. My... So when you cut the chandelier, that's why you're cutting that. Yeah. Uh... My my theory was it was based on clickable items since we had an issue with that a while ago. You remember um, before when it was just disappeared <laughs> because it wouldn't load in. Yeah. Um, when I removed some interactable furniture which weren't light sources, it wasn't as bad. Like the distance you could go was further until it seeped through. So it is either different light sources or different interactables, um, which is still a limit that um, the game has to suffer with until PS4 support is gone, which yeah. is gonna take a few years. <laughs> so it, it seems to be something to do with how light, which is actually directional, was coded. Because if you take like a lamp, it's it's omnidirectional regardless of your rotation. But you take like a fireplace, it's kind of it's meant to be shooting it in one area. Yeah. It's, it's a bit sad that you have to go to light level 0 to avoid that though, because you have so much potential and in this case it was nice, but you know. Um, let's talk about the ceiling next, I would say, since that is, uh, it's very, whoa, you guys are all in the door. <laughs> um, <laughs> this was a lot of work because it's not only work me floating the shit up, but Rhapsody and Perry crafting like champions because those are all Hang on, let me let me go into Crystarium bench. Yeah, there those are all Oh many Crystarium bench. Oops. Oh can you Oh something happened Oh. Now. Thank you so much for the follow Jaguar. Sorry, really sorry, I'll stop, I'll stop. I was setting stuff up. Yeah, all good. So okay, there we go. So in this case it's a shit ton of Crystarium benches, all aligned in a straight line with like the uh, support beams here. So basically, something you'd see like in a in a factory to like pin up some stuff, like you know, just some usual stuff you'd see in a factory build. And of course, we have the ventilation vents that are just a bunch of uh, storm benches up here, going all the way around with some lighting here. So this is just a uh, the snowman butt. The, those are just snowman butts and the frame of a, um, what are they called again? The, the, the flower pots? Riviera planter. Riviera planters, R thank you. So it's really cool how it has that effect and it just adds a little bit of detail. You can, you can barely see it on stream because it's very, very dark. Question in chat, what shelves are those in the corner where the storage box is? Yes, those are not actual sh shelves in the game, those are walnut tables. Um, I used- I'm turning the light up, yeah. you're ridiculous. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I really, I'm really sorry. Those are a <laughs> bunch of not. walnut tables stacked on top of each other because I, I liked how the uh, metal frame looked of, uh, of it and if you dye it black you don't see the wood that much. 
So um, I really liked how it looks with all the metal stuff here. So I just stacked three on top of each other, just each of them with the height being snapped up here where the table ends. And you have a custom shelf basically. It's very simple. It's really, really simple. Honestly, when I first walked into the house, when you had, like after you'd built that, I didn't watch you build it. And so I was like, okay, interesting choice with the Glade open bookshelf, but like <laughs> if that's what you want to do. I legit, like I just glossed right over it. I was like, why would you use Glade? But I guess it looks fine. Yeah. But <laughs> it's not. So the good thing about this is since we changed the initial plan. Dib your music's a bit loud, okay? Oh? What is loud? Your music. Yes, of course I can turn it on. Give me one second. There we go. Okay, so, um, when I first built this, this was supposed to be a Garlean place. Oh, you can see the blue glow now. A Garlean place, like, full on, no metal, uh, no wood, no nothing. But I converted the theme into something more like, it was the former Garlean outpost, but, like, the Iron Works team moved in and took over. So, of course, you'd have some crates here, you'd have some wood parts, just, just a few, not much. So you can kind of get away because we don't have many metal um, metal containers or like many metal items in general that are considered storage items, right? I used a few aquariums here, like here, here, and it looks good, but it just didn't do the same thing as like the crates would do. So I, changing the beam around a bit, of course it caused the armors to be gone, <laughs> um, but it helped a lot mm. with the overall build. So yeah, um, regarding the ceiling again, bunch of Crestarian benches, the thing here, this up here is just a bit tier 4 aquarium. So it's just a lot of layering basically, and using the texture of the bottom of the benches for my advantage, since it had a lot of metal support. It's not a flat, it's basically just a few items, like one, like, it's a, it's a storage bench, it's a Crestarian chair, a few partitions, it's not like even five different items, but it's just the amount of items that will really put a lot of things, uh, make them look really good. Sorry about that. <laughs> I had to think about what I actually said. Words, what are they? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, this is the basic frame. It's just, it, it really depends how you layer those things. Like you have a layer here, you have a texture there, you have a different form here. Like for example, how I used another set of uh, storm benches up here and floated a partition in to round it off. Like, it's just important how you really layer stuff, and if you want to go for something factory-like, technological stuff, like something very futuristic, you would that would help a lot to break up the space and make a very nice detailed ceiling. And of course we have, let's go to the next part here, we have this area, which is um, the entrance, just a simple elevator shaft basically using the Gordian chair, um, using some lights the lights come coming up from it, of course, from the summit butt here. And just basically using the Riviera sh uh, bookshelf again to have a little sliding door effect here. A normal rectangular partition, another armoire here to the sides too. And basically running it off. But it's very, very simple if you think about it. This is the first thing I did in this house. <laughs> so. Starting with the entrance. Yeah, starting with the entrance for the first time because uh, usually you, you, gotta fig you gotta figure out where you wanna start and fuck, am I gonna be able to actually leave the house or enter the house properly? <laughs> and, um, well, mm. yeah. And of but course, you can! You can click through it! Yeah, you can definitely, you can leave if you want to. There you go. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you can leave if you want to! Yeah. There's the door. There's the door. And I have some, like... Let's put my light up again. I have some things spread around here, which is basically, like, some fuse boxes. Or are you called them fuse boxes? Sure. Like, just those little things where you can put some cables in and, you know, get some electricity and I built them up here too. And you will see them around the build. And so you can tell, which, this is really fun, this is all white, but it's gray over here. <laughs> and this is really funny because you can't, can't you, can you tell that it's a different color? It is really based on the lighting. That's the issue. Uh, that's a good <laughs> thing about it. So. Some of those items here are white and some are gray, but you can't just can't tell the difference, which is really nice. You can't tell when the lights are down. 
Exactly. I mean, you can't tell anything if your lights are down, but you know. <laughs> um, it's let's go into this. Easy thing. housing. Turn the light down to zero. Exactly. You'll never know if there's anything. <laughs> you will never see anything wrong. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow on that thing. Oh, I got kicked out of Jeepos again. Ah! I'm not allowed to build things. Yes, not yet. Go ahead. So, there we go. So this is just a, like, um, a server kind of thing. You can think of this, you, you can imagine what this is, because it's just... You random. can imagine? I don't know what it is. Yeah. It, it's like a control panel or something. It is like, a, yeah, there's like a few buttons up here. Like maybe this lid, this lid is actually opening up, you can click some things. There's some monitor down here. Some pipes going out using the Armor Forge, Armor Craft Forge. Um, again, a lot of different uh, Storm Armors. I used a flying bat here. And a pipe coming out because there's like initially like three bottles, you know? It looks like it's pumping out something out of the system. There's a trash bin. You know. Different kinds of things. So you can miscellaneous technology. Yeah, this, is, this is what I call <laughs> it. It yeah. just looks techy, right? It looks techy, but I have no fucking clue what this is. Like I don't Fair. know what this is. It's it was supposed to be like a terminal, like a, a server, you know? Um Kind of deviated from that design, and you can think of it whatever you will, and it will be exactly that. <laughs> and oh Fair wow, enough. you guys, holy okay. And on that side we have the baby, the baby itself, the baby. big big hanger. I'm gonna go into Jeepers, and I have to hide you guys sadly, probably. So. Oh, but they're so cute. They're so cute, but I want to show like the full thing. There you go. Okay, so. Here we have a hangar dog, which we started building on stream too. One out, uh, out of outside of the uh, podcast, of course. Hey, Vale, welcome to the stream. And we have many things here. So there's like the Riviera cupboards again. There's again the monitors. You have events again. You have lots of Riviera cupboards again here. Like the general shape of it is really nice. And I used one, two, three, four, five, seven sit paintings. Which are basically <laughs> that sliding thing up here. So yeah, let me zoom in. So like the track? The track basically. You would see where the door, door would open because the sit painting is really nice because it has this like fine line in the middle and you can tell it's like two parts going out, you know, like one to the right, one to the left. So it's basically like a sliding door that opens. And that is also indicated by a few things like we have that steam down here. Which means that basically, upon opening, it is basically like an airlock, like an airlock for a hangar. So it basically opened up, uh, opens up, and before it can do that, it's gonna like you know get all of the hydraulic stuff out. So we have some of that. That's steam. That's also using just a Gordian chair. And up here we have some cables, which is a suggestion by both Ashen and Fang on stream when we build this to use the new vel. What's it called? Velvet velvet ropes. Sure, call them that. What are they called? Stanchion or whatever? I don't know. I don't actually know how to pronounce that word. Oh my gosh, look at how sexy that snowman butt looks. Oh, it's very bright. <laughs> I love it. It looks so good. It is really nice. And I use the ropes here for the hydraulic things again. And the snowman butt itself. Let's get some. Let's get a close up there. So this is a snowman butt sending some light cones up here down onto the door. But also I hit a stage light, um, a indirect wall light was it called, right? Um, which is basically having this really nice shimmer effect as if it's like dust, it's like a dusty workshop, you know? And it's shining onto the main area of the entrance, so it feels more like an en entrance to a hangar, which I really, really like. Um, which initially was supposed to be like, there's like stuff here. But you know, we are still a bit limited, so I can't like build a bike here. We saw some bikes being built, but they are very makeshift. <laughs> like if you remember, it's uh, like- just Div, just, Div just can't get over, like, he just sees like the red on the wall clock um, and he's like, I don't want that. Yeah, if it's like not in the theme, it's like a bit, it's not immersive enough for me. But, but for, he's you know, not about the banana seat oh uh, bike with the with <laughs> the so fruit good. fruit bowl. <laughs> and it looks good in other builds like like brick wall workshops or something, you know. But like in here, it just stands out too much. And of course, we have um, the, man. I have like one, two, 
three, six, seven, eight, nine, around twelve Rivera cupboards up there. <laughs> <laughs> and those metal things down here with railings too, which is really nice actually. Um, those are ash cabinets. So one, two, three, and two on the other side too. Just having like a little different levels here, so it goes out a bit. And some railing systems here, so if you can actually roll something in on, you know, like, would you call them carts? If it's like some some yeah, resource. Uh, I mean, if you have a the railings there, it's just like to guide, uh, machinery as it comes in. Yeah, yeah. like I mean, literally, like just think about like a a mechanic shop or I don't know a car wash or just like any way mm -hmm. to guide the machinery. That's very true. And what I was also thinking about is like, since this has Cerulean into it, you gotta get the Cerulean here somehow, right? And man, I wish we would have some kind of metal barrel, because that would be so perfect. Like, you put some cards into this and you like get the Cerulean here and it's away from here, you know? It would be so perfect. Fair. And I would love that. I don't think I've, I don't think I've even seen- is there even a metal barrel in this game? Nope, there like, isn't. There's just I don't a... think I've seen one even out in the wild. They have like you know when we did when you boosted me to fifteen, <laughs> um. Well, oh. yeah, those were. Those oh, were like very what... big. You know which ones? The Garlean ones. The okay, ones. yeah, like out by uh, what is where were we? Cape Westwind. Yeah, it was Cape Westwind. Um, so there's like a bunch of metal cylinders out there in the uh, open area, and I would love to have them. Or like the metal boxes they used to for storage. That would have been amazing in this place. But you know you gotta. You gotta make do with what you got in this game. I guess sometimes, sometime in the future they'll add more stuff, but until then we'll have to work with what we got. So in this case, the only thing left is just this storage corner, same thing as everywhere else. Nothing special, just a few crates sticked up, some glasses here of ceruleum, so that's what I was thinking about. And I used the, um, <laughs> I used this new dining, what is it called? Dining plate something? Dishware. Oh my god, I'm turning the freaking lights up. You're impossible. I'm sorry. You try to look at stuff and I'm like, what? I don't- I can't even identify it. There we go. Thank you so much for turning the lights up. <laughs> um, and those dishes basically look like some kind of, um, you know how you drop, um, those metal plates as an item from Foridan and stuff like that? And like back in Heaven Sword, you had those. Um, oh, just like just like pieces of metal. Yeah, exactly. And those are just like stacked pieces of metal, basically, just some resource. And I w I wanted to have them around here, so I just added them in this corner, for example. Just some books. And this is something I wanted to mention later, um, but I want to mention it now actually because you can't use too many small items in a corner like this because if you over clutter it, it's gonna it's look way too random. You gotta pay attention to overpower. Yeah, you gotta pay attention to like having just a few items. In this case, just four. And I didn't use all of the um, glasses either and put them on top here because I just wanted two to show. Because it's gonna be much easier for the eye to like overlook that corner because it's just a storage corner. It's nothing special. It's not supposed to be over cluttered and detailed. It's supposed to have like very heavy big items, and that's way more than enough in this case, but especially since you know how a shadow. Fascinating. Works. Mm -hmm. And Interesting again. tips from the Clutter King. <laughs> and this is just a storage locker here. I built out of a storm armoire, another storm armoire to make that little metal part here, and another ventilation part. Because the storm armoire has that on their lockers too for some reason. You know how you, in those American lockers you have those like slits you can see, like, you know? Do you not? I it's to let stinky underwear breathe. Oh, it's, it's that simple. It's to let the kids it's that really? got shoved in there breathe. Oh yeah, exactly. No. Um, so Oof. in here I locked up uh, Nero. He's in there. He has food, but uh, you know, I put the storage boxes in front so he can't get out, but Nero is in there. Oh no, you locked him in yeah. there. Yeah. Locked up that nerd like in the place he's supposed to be in. <laughs> so yeah, this is like- oh, also I used- um, for this pattern down here I also used a few ash cabinets, same concept as here. So this is the entire build, essentially. This is a large house. Oh. There you go, guys. That's the entire breakdown. We're not going to be building or any videos or anything. That's the breakdown. Yeah, an entire breakdown, and uh, that will do it. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Gamer magic. Okay, at least it's nice. like that. <laughs> um, nice. And yeah, so 
you saw how we uh, how I used a few of these storm armors and metal items. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh my god, um, I can't pronounce that name. I'm sorry. Friend, <laughs> thank you, friend. Thank you, friend. Really appreciate the follow. And um, you saw how I used stuff like the ventilations here, using the storm armors, using the dinner plate uh, plates, using a lot of the armors and storage benches, and we are gonna use them in some different items. And since I used so much of uh, Rhapsody skill, <laughs> I, <laughs> I still have a few items, so I think we could go into... I think we could go behind the scenes a bit, and um, build a bit. What you gonna build? So... Uh, this is also... <laughs> this is a mess, so don't look at it. Um, I don't know, what you not, guys wanna do... Not ready. What do you guys wanna see first? For us to build? Because we can... We can come off of a TV, we have a microwave, we have an AC that someone did all the other day. Oh yeah, that AC unit was really cool. I kind of want to, like, I don't actually even know. What did he use? Microwave? Microwave? <sighs> microwave? Okay, we can build a microwave. We can make a microwave first, yeah. Um, so, are we gonna use the metal aquarium for the microwave? Oh, yeah, do we have sorry. one in there? Um, probably. Oh my yeah. goodness! Thank you! Thank you so much. Anonymous? Oh. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much, dude. Oh no, don't be anonymous. Let us know who you are. <laughs> you man. can, but thank you. You can do this to us. Thank you so much for the gifts. Uh... That's really appreciated. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, can, can we get some housing parks? My, my emote hasn't been approved yet. I will have to look into this. There we go. A PS4. Okay, that's a very specific. <laughs> We're gonna. Can work I. With you. I can build you a PS4 controller. <laughs> Rhapsody built a PS4 control like a year ago. <laughs> but maybe not the PS4. I've got to be completely honest. I just had to Google what a PS4 actually looks like. Honestly, uh, same because I don't have a PS4. Uh, isn't it just a white box? Question: it's What black? What makes oh, a star okay, ceiling destiny? Um, what star ceiling do you mean? Do you mean? So, probably referring to the one with the gold, uh, spoils, like the the black rug and the undersea spoils. It was on Twitter, um... Yeah, it, it's the undersea spoils. Yeah, that's the undersea spoils, exactly. Okay, so, what are, where are we? Oh, we're on the other side! Dang, I was over here the whole time! Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to go over there? No, that's fine. Okay. It's fine. So... We need a... You want to build Naoshis? Um... I don't quite remember how Naoshis looked like, but we can do that, actually. Well, we have I got to it. Break down. Yeah, we can, we can improvise some way. <laughs> we can make, like, a little bit... You know what it looked like, and I know what we need. Let's see, she needed a Paisa lamp for her. Yeah. And we... We needed some dinner plates, too, if I remember correctly. Like, ah, uh, dinner plates. Oh, yeah. Plates. One set of plates. plates. Yeah, I have a four, bun. Yeah, four altars, an aquarium. Oh, the lord, the altars. I forgot about the altars. Yeah. Namazun manservant. There you go. He's over here. They don't sell plates. There's a lot of... Oh, god, what did you... You already started back here. Should we... Actually, no, let's go over here. Fuck that. What? <laughs> I didn't know I you mean... already did something there. I remember you said, oh, I gotta prepare stuff, I gotta prepare stuff when I was still on the thing. Let's see. Let's see, I've got some plates. Let me go get some altars real quick. And a Pisa lamp. Div, real quick, we because go. we get asked so often, mm -hmm. uh, make the manor TV. <laughs> I have a little setup there with the entertainment hutch. Oh god, um... Do you have a picture? <laughs> what? It's literally just a flat screen TV made oh, out of two manor. you meant that. So, okay. Yeah. So... And then, like, I don't know, add the... the otter lamp for the... I guess. Okay, so let's see. Um, in this case, we would use... something like this. So you'd have those two... things as, like, the background. Probably closer together, yeah. Yeah, what would you call them? There's like work I, like I call it an entertainment hutch, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you'd have that. So this is basically gonna be where your wall's gonna be. So it's gonna be like, uh, it's gonna be like here, and on the other side too. Oh yeah. Also, um, this thing. <laughs> Thank you, Sim. Uh, <laughs> uh, so let's get this floating there. So you... ah, I love that. I know, right? It's so comfy. 
I still haven't even like bound it, but I love it so much. I know, right? It's just so satisfying. Look at it with velvet grits net. <laughs> just so satisfying. Holy shit. Um. But yeah. Oh, yeah, hey, real quick, walk through those keybinds. Oh, you guys want to know it's what? So oh, good. Oh yeah. So yeah, Sint gave us a guide on this. It's awesome. Hang on. Let's see. So. What, why this is so important is because you know how you need to line things up to the grid a lot, but you can't on a, on a keyboard, you can't just like rotate it before placing it, right? If you want to make like a storage glitch. And um, Sint, bless you, uh, or like Ashen I think told you that, right? No, did Ashen? No. You? No, no it, right? it was just, yeah, he, he made yeah. the guide. So if you want to place something on a grid, but you can't do it beforehand, but you want still want a storage glitch. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bind a keybind to a certain keybind, and if you click it, you can rotate it. It's very it's, simple. You have to switch to, to give, controller, right? Yeah. To give it real quick then, quick and dirty, you need to enable gamepad. At that point, if you assign a keybind to any of the gamepad keys, it can work like it does for a PlayStation controller. So on PlayStation, the triggers are used to rotate. So if you bind your triggers, uh, which will be uh, L2, R2, or if you've had an Xbox controller attached, it will just be left trigger, right trigger. If you bind those, you can rotate. Yeah. Uh, you have to pick the item up first, but then you can rotate it and it will work. And that will work for anything. So you can also use that to bind triangle to toggle grid snap on, that kind of thing. Yep, basically. And to show you guys, so basically you go into your system configurations and if you don't have already, you gotta take this little box here called Enable Gamepad. And once you have that, you can actually go into your keybinds and you will see the Gamepad tab. And as uh, Sin just said, you will have to assign certain buttons here. In this case, I just use a singular button. I don't even use this one. I just use LT button, which is up here, and I have it on Y. So basically, I signed it, I applied it, and that means as soon as I pick up an item, I don't have to place it. I can basically just press Y, and it's gonna go by like a certain angle. So how PS4 users will probably do it. So in this case, I, I press it multiple times, and it will rotate the item without actually placing it. And of course, if I just hold it, it's gonna keep spinning like that, which is kind of funny actually. So that's also yeah. a very important thing. So as you can tell, I could place it perfectly straight onto that. Sarge glitch it perfectly play, uh, straight onto this little railing up here. All right, so <laughs> Repsy already started, so let's see. So this is the little entertaining system here, entertaining center. <laughs> Man, I hate that. And it's that's a simple. really big TV. Come on. You want to make it smaller? Okay, let's let's make it smaller. Let's make it like like this. Yeah. Yeah, that oh, looks that's good. Okay, so what you want to do is those are just the backs of the manor fireplaces up here which are also useful panels in the uh, build. And those are just the back of immersion shells. You can use whatever you want because this thing, those two screens can go up to any wall. It doesn't matter, but this is like a nice framing for them that uh, Rhapsody came up with. So what you want to do is extremely simple. Just float those um, just float those up. There's nothing more to it, really. It's extremely simple, but so effective. And it looks so clean and nice. So in this case, I just float them up. Get them to the minimum height, depends on how how, you, how high you want your uh, TV to be. So let's say we want to keep it on this level. We can basically just rotate them. And as you see, I also floated up the walls here, but it doesn't matter too much since I can just either leave or I can just place them down here again. And like scoot them forward a little? Yeah. Like, or two, if you want, depending on how thick you want your... <laughs> want yeah, your it's, a, it's a flat screen TV, yeah. not a thick screen TV. A thick screen TV. I'd love that. <laughs> you shouldn't, just, it was just... really bad. <laughs> so, yeah, this, this is just a very flat surface here. You'll see the back, but, you know, you will cover it with walls. So you have a very nice flat surface, but a very clean TV. What's the... What do we use? We use the otter lamp for the mm. little like LED at the bottom. Do yes. I think. Hang on. Do we have it? Yeah, we have. We have two different kinds. Which kind do we use? The wall lamp, or yeah, the wall lamp. Let's say use the wall lamp. Yeah. It's in storage. Yeah. Wait, which one was that again? The. Uh... The otter otter wall lamp. There we go. 
So in this case, you see, off yeah, I love showing it. off my crazy storage. Yeah, it's a it's a big it's a hot mess. <laughs> I love it. Wow. So what we want to use in this case is just that little part here, just that little L little. Light. And we're gonna use it to just place it. Wait, how do you do that again? Well, so like normally there's oh. like a table in front of it, right? Yeah, exactly. So you can use the tabletop one, not the wall mounted one. Oh, will True. will the tabletop one stick out more? It's, it does stick out without like you can hide the rest of it. Oh. You don't need a table in front of it. Ooh. Let's see. Let's do that instead. You can see how often I make these. <laughs> Well, it's a very simple design. It only requires a very handful of a few items, not just a handful. Yeah, it's 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 effective. It's hmm. simple and effective because you get the image of the TV across. It also takes up like it's a bigger TV, so it takes up quite a bit of space. Yeah. Um, visually, so like for houses where you're struggling with filling space, but you know, item count always item count. Um, yeah, it's always item. This is a really good TV for it. The yep. good thing with the mana fireplace as well is if you dye it to actual jet black, it's so black it starts to hide its own wood. I know, right? <laughs> the Vanta black. Or if you turn your lights down to zero. Oh my god! If you just, if you just turn your monitor off, it's... Yeah, just, <laughs> you're not going to see it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Just turn off the monitor and you won't see any of the imperfections in game. Exactly. And there we Ta -da. go. And you can also turn that light off if you like. You don't want that light cone over here. You can just doop, turn it off, and you will still see the nice orange part of it, which is really cool and extremely simple. It's a big button for elderly people like me, Nayla. <laughs> just a single button, nothing else. Just a single button where I can turn. <laughs> that's on. all you, you, you. That's what we need. I, I'm like, what do these buttons on the remote do, honey? Just hit the power button. It doesn't. Flat, big ass flat screen, but still a big red button. <laughs> <laughs> what I need when you got all the money in the world because you're a boomer but you don't know how to turn on the t <laughs> oh my god true <laughs> sorry a blue ask if we can make some uh, like uh, where the surrounds on the speakers are we did you could make some oh really yeah nice speakers easy real quick hang on do you have let's them? see where's the uh you do I have the clock oh, we have a bunch yeah of the chronometers <laughs> yeah I was looking for the wall mounted uh Box shelves. Yeah. Make make. Box shelves are easy. Just a question is what you surround the boxes with. What do you mean? The uh oh you know when you want to build the speakers you know, you can make like what big you... very big speakers. Where are you? Oh I mean you could make literally anything if you're willing to frame it out with white rectangular partitions. Oh my but... god, either bad. <laughs> But for the less uh, crazy inclined, hang on. I was thinking about using another set of um, manor fireplaces, <laughs> like a mad lad. Man, you are mad. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the ones at the base. It'll look cute. Oh yeah, okay, that would work. I ju I ju no, you can do yours on on the right side. I'm gonna do mine on the left side. Oh. How about that? I'm doing mine underneath. Oh, underneath? Okay, that's actually pretty good too. So, I would do something like... Maybe... You got the dad speakers going on. Yeah, I got the dad speakers, so that's what I'm used to. Oh no, we cannot place any more items. What have we done? Wait, are we capped on items? Yeah, hang on, oh, let me okay. remove some. So let's I'll see. just so put them in storage for later. You see in this chronometer, you have a back of it, which is just a flat, really nice metal part here. What are we gonna the do? circle. Yeah, the circle. And I'm gonna make them really thick since they're really wide and you wanna hide them. I'm gonna do it like here. Oh, failed housing action. Very good. My fault. All good. There we go. We wanna float them down here. I think I floated them a bit too high, but we'll see in a second. And you want to hide the rest of it and float them like this. And then you want, of course, to remove the comfy that it sticks to the wall. And uh, there you go. Okay, in this case, you see I put it a bit too, uh, a bit too high. So let's fix that. Fix it. Yes. Yeah, the chairs or the boxes are suitable, right? 
sitable boxes. Yeah, you can see so you can try to sit slash sit. Oh god, in some places Rhapsody. Oh, did I break it? No, no, I'm sorry. Good. I'm sorry. It's, it's good. Don't worry about it. Um, Rhapsody built some custom uh, seatings because I didn't consider them, but she wants to sit in her FC house on e everywhere. <laughs> I like being able to sit. I like. <laughs> I like being able to sit in my FC house. There we go. So let's do it like very low. Let's do it like this. So maybe that will work. All right, that sounds. That looks good. That sounds good. Yeah, it definitely sounds good. You know, get you know because good speakers. Speaker. <laughs> hey. There we go. I'm sorry, I'm a slow builder, by the way. So. I'm just waiting my turn. It's almost over, so. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but I pimped your fridge. You pimped my fridge. Pimped my fridge. The what? TV show. Oh shit, you did. That looks sick. Yo. What happened? Look, he that? just he added the line. I was about he to added say, the door line. That's, that's a really sick. nice door line. I like that a lot. Okay, sorry, sorry about the distraction. Here's the speaker. <laughs> I'm done. So I used two Wahoo. of the chronometers here and then another set of the thing. And then you can of course uh use another wall. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Well, it's too low. It is too. Oh my god! <laughs> what just that? You took the um order with you, by the way. Just saying. It, I don't have it. <laughs> it's up there on. It's not on my screen. Okay. Well, I, I guess I'm not gonna touch it then. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, while he builds. Oh, old milk. Uh, that's a shame. I had to leave early. Also, I'm sorry I'm not watching the, sh uh, the chat a lot. Have I'm you also... got any uh, coffee siphon? The brewers. Uh, no, but I will give you money. <laughs> also, I just could... throw money at the problem. Could you acquire me some chopping boards? Because I'm broke. I don't yeah. think we're. I think we're gonna run out of item slots at this point. That's okay. We'll just take down what we're what we've built. But um, go give sent some money. Oh wait, no. You have to do this. Go put the chronometers on here, like one on each. You see what I'm talking about? For the the bass speaker. Sorry, what? Oh, you're giving scent money. I was gonna say you put the chronometers on these. I don't even know where they are. What? Oh, I'm gonna take in the... in storage. No, they are on the thing on the beam over here. You took them with you. The, what? The They're not. Oh, what the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> I think something else is yeah. happening on your screen. Compared, look at my uh, look at my stream. Go, go outside, I guess, because that's not at all what's actually happening. Okay, hang on. <laughs> what have you done? I don't know. Uh, oh god, everyone's here. <laughs> oh my god, the RFC is looking at both people. Perry is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know, everyone came in, they're like, uh, uh, what did I just walk in on? Let's see. <laughs> Perry. All oh, right, it's Saturday. <laughs> Oops. You think they'd know by now that this is what I do? I know, right? Question mark? Okay. It's still- oh! Oh, I see. So you want me to float those, yeah? Yeah! Let's put them into place. Oops, that's a bit far. Yeah, I don't know if they're actually aligned. Can't quite tell where the uh, metal part of those are, but I guess I'll have to. Oops. Let's float them like that. So, how do I- take them away from the beam. Are, are you kidding me? What? This guy this guy claims to know what's housing. What are you I'm what just did trying you... I'm just trying to come up with what you try to do here. Wait, yeah, what did you do? I don't know. You play oh you took God. the beam away out of my hands as I wanted to I place did, it. I yoinked it. Okay, hang on. Let me fix this. <laughs> what have you done? I didn't do anything, it was you. <laughs> You're right. 
Uh, let's see. Why won't the speakers connect? <laughs> well, this is total boomer. Why won't the speakers connect, Div? I know, right? <laughs> technology. What technology are they system. actually connected to? They're the like beams. not. No, like on my screen, they're oh, not well, they're grabbing. Down, they're down there now. Okay, I got him. Oh, I got him. Yo, yo, what did you do? <laughs> Stop well, taking my shit! Uh, on stream it's showing. <laughs> oh my god, you stole my shit! I don't want to steal your shit, that's kind of... Rude. Well, <sighs> as you can tell... Hang on, let me put up this music again because I, uh, I don't even hear it myself. Killing me small. There we go. This is a mess. Anyway, I give up. This is what the speakers would look like if Div would cooperate with me. Okay, I'm got. Do I have to leave again and come back because I don't know what is happening at this point? It's <laughs> it's all over the place. It's because I don't know what it is. I think it's <laughs> just because there are so many freaking items in this build. Yeah, because you know, as you guys know, the more items are inside your build, the weirder things get of housing, like things snapping to each other, things like being completely different from what they're supposed to be. It's like it's almost haunted by the items that I haven't used. It's haunted by the items I haven't used. The floors. Yeah. The other floors are like, use me. Yeah. Um, I've used the you know, you see how dirty this one is of like rust and shit, and you don't see it at all if you are on the inside of the build. Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I know, right? And you don't see it on the uh, other thing because it's so dark. <laughs> you don't see the shit stains if it's dark. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> just so good. I'm so confused as to why these chronometers will not, like, snap to the beam. I don't get it. Anyway, it's I'm moving weird. on from this. I'm so over these speakers, but yeah. The back of wall chronometers. Back of wall helpful. chronometers, different things. There we go. Different, like, black boxes. Alright, yeah. I'm taking down this TV now. <laughs> yeah, let's do the microwave. Let me put down the tier 2 aquarium. Let's see, so what do we need? We need the tier 2 aquarium, we need a limbs, like a landscape pain painting. Let's see, so, wall decorations. Sent, did you get enough money? Yeah, yeah, I got money. Let's use the limbs of one. I don't need it. Have you got any soot black dye on you? Because I can't die. I yes. Do. Oh, actually, there's a guys. Never mind. What do you want, dye? Can you die my chopping boards, please? <laughs> die my chopping boards, please. There I go, there's Thank you. Thing. Let's get everything to place. This is gonna be, uh... Oh god. There I go, sorry. So this is gonna be a micro we're gonna build? Because yeah, I... can you put it, like, above this little counter that I made here? Like, next to the fruit? Yes, can do, can do. Um, the Pice of Floor Lamb, that's next. Oh, crap, I forgot to get that. <laughs> Be so, right back! Okay, until we get this one, we need the wooden plates, which are all NPC items. No, they're not, I have them. Wait, are they You mean NPC items? Fair no! Enough. They're from, uh, what is it, what's it called? Um, Eureka? Yeah, Eureka, man. I, they're so cheap, so sometimes I kind of think it's, you know. <laughs> Cool. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. What else do we need? We also need. Oh, the altars, but you already have those. So yeah, the altars are like a fun thing. Like the reason why you'd use them is like a bit weird, but it's so creative. I love it. <laughs> so They're more big buttons. Yeah, more big buttons essentially. So let's get this thing floated first. So what we first want to do is we want to get this aquarium up there. So let's do it like this and place it. What's the what's the correct height for this? Like, uh, yeah, like sure. A little bit above half of it, like that. This is our our jank kitchen. The jank kitchen. There we go. Let's put this one here to cut off the to cover the rest. There we go. So we floated this one up here. And what we're we gonna do next is gonna be that. So we 
gonna take this painting. Gonna use the wooden beam for this one. Like that. And we are gonna use a frame of We are not gonna actually use the painting itself, of course. We just want the wooden part of it, which is uh, here. There we go. And we want to have a full wooden part. So let's get this into place. There we go. So what we're gonna do is, if I remember correctly, it was like all the way to the left? Yeah. There we go. So we want the frame of it. So this is basically gonna be the part that you open up, essentially, up here. So let's flip this up a bit higher. You can barely tell, like it's, but it's there. You will see in the end, it's gonna look amazing. And um, after that, we are gonna use, do you have a lamp here? The, uh, the, uh, the Paisa lamp? Wait, is it a floor lamp actually? So I gotta float this mm -mm. one first. No, it's not? Okay, thank god. <laughs> so it's a tabletop item. Sorry, I was drinking one! It's okay, don't worry. So we are gonna use this lamp for the handle itself, so let's see. We are gonna put this here. And Careful, don't yoink your aquarium. Yeah, it's very sticky, so we all go, we gotta be careful, but we did it. It's up there. Uh, let's see. You want it up, so it's just sticking out a little bit, so only like... And you want it like on the actual door? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sorry. Right, like right now it's to the side of the door. Yeah, I was just uh, trying to get the depth correct. There we Oh, go. gotcha. So we don't want that button part here showing, so let's float it all the way up. So let's have like, you could, I mean, you know, you're gonna, either you have the bottom part show and you have it in the center, right? Or you have it like a bit higher, which is gonna be like here, like that basically. Then you will grab it if you're able to, there you go. And I yoinked the aquarium. <laughs> and of course. Of course it did. Let's see. Buddy, please let me select you. Thank you. There we go. And now it's removed. So we already have a very nice framing here. We have the hand. What? <laughs> mm? Oh, whoops. Um. <laughs> oh. Well. Um. Yeah, that was the thing. Hang on. Let's let's get this bad boy back. What have you done? It's snapping onto the stage plan at the back because I didn't consider that. Um. Oh. Is it? Wait. Sorry. Is it gonna work from the back in that case? Uh, just take the stage panel away, put some walls. Yeah, we're gonna make some fake walls here because we can't have a stage panel behind it. Um, what do we wanna use for a fake wall in the background while we're at it? Here, I'll just... Ah! Merchant you took my stage panel! I mean, put yeah, it back we... real quick. Oh, okay. Because you took the ceiling away too! I, it, I didn't, it's there. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is going on with this? This is such a cursed house. Okay, oh, okay. now just, just take care of the stage fan. Nice, okay, cool. So in this case, it will still be there, but we we'll still have a... We'll, we'll still have a back, but we don't need to actually have this flat surface behind it, so it's just yeah. floating. So in this case, we can put, put the um, painting back into place, which is gonna be... The Limson painting that we just took. If I'm gonna find it. There's so many windows in your house. And you haven't Yummy. used a single one of them. Well, I used them for my last build. That's true. Yeah, and also you're gonna use it for the next build you're gonna build in like a week. I know, right? Oh my god. <laughs> so let's My see. FC's like, where's the floors? Where do we go? No. <laughs> they don't go anywhere. They don't need to go any further. They're raiders. They don't need houses. <laughs> Let's see. So, ah, I can't get it to float nicely. There we go. Let's get this a bit higher too again because it's not like the full frame sh that's showing. I hope I'm gonna go into escape and I'm not gonna snap this thing. Okay, good. Well, the painting removed itself, so that's funny. <laughs> okay. Did that's you see cool. that? Did you see that? <laughs> That was weird. Confused, but great. Incredibly confused. Yeah. That you've completely killed all normal game mechanics with 
the density of items in this house. Yeah, this house is starting to be a bit of a curse. Thank you so much <laughs> for the follow, Balakazam. I really appreciate it. Uh, the third person is quiet? Who, who's the third person? Sint? It, not the streamer? Sint? Some dude called Sint. We're not doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need him sometimes. He's, he's our villain. Yeah, Rhapsody couldn't make it tonight, so... Question mark?! Uh, you know what? I think it's that time of the day where I just go to bed. <laughs> oh my god, Good sorry lord. <laughs> Rhapsody couldn't make it today, guys. Hi, I'm Ashen. <laughs> Basically the same person. Ashen is... It's Shay, wow. but Ashen is you. Same, same people. With Shay, Ashen, and Rhapsody is a trifecta <laughs> of one. <laughs> Basically. Alright, so let's finish the other set of the... <clears throat> the oh, aquarium <laughs> microwave, which is the gonna aquarium microwave, aquarium microwave, which is gonna consist of a bunch of those um, oriental altars, which we're just gonna use for thick buttons. So let's get them into place. So let's use thick those but thick buttons. <laughs> so I can't for the life of me work out what you're snapping this to, because it's done it again on your screen. But yeah. It's just on our screen, yeah. Yeah, as long as it's not on my screen, you, the people will see what's important. <laughs> what we see is not important, Sin. I didn't say- oh, I didn't mean to say <laughs> that. I hope if I don't come back in, it's gonna be really wonky. Uh, hopefully it won't. Alright, so as we said, we want the big buttons, and we don't want the altar to show, so we're just gonna have it like, like this. Just those two things poking out at the very end. I think you can use different items for this, like, it's all up to you, because those altars are fucking expensive, if I remember correctly. Mm, they're not so bad. Not so bad? Okay. I didn't say anything. Those ones were... 50k a pop? Something like that? Not... Very expensive, let's say, like that. <laughs> I mean, they used to be 200 a pop, so... Yeah, I, rem I remember that, actually. That's like... Where do you even get them? Do you need to craft them? Yeah. Hing yeah, hanging but hanging brushes for buttons would be cute too. Oh, that's smart. But, but also, de but that is also dependent on tabletop items. Since man, tabletop items are so hard to work with sometimes because of snapping, and so to these lower surfaces beneath them, it's so annoying sometimes. All right, let's get to those. Things. I hope it's a bit. It looks like it's a bit hot too high. Yeah. That's why you do all of them at once. Yes, that's how you would normally do it. Rhapsody is absolutely correct. <laughs> that's how I would do it. Yeah. There. Oh, ah, nice. Too far out. Yeah, I, I just, I'm just like, eye gauging things. Just a eyeballed. Lot. Yeah, I eyeball a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just say eye gauging? Shut up. Da, 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 da. That's so good. <laughs> I don't. I mean, look, it's it's more impressive your way. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. His special eyes. <laughs> my brand. <laughs> oh my God. I love that so much. I like the Mass Effect one. So oh yeah. Look, look with your special eyes. I don't know how to get rid of this one thing. Just, just inventory, the stage pack. Just one. Just return something to inventory, and then return the stage panel to inventory. Oh yeah, right. Hang on. Uh, I'm just gonna use the stage panel. Doing all these old school things. All right. Times change. There we go. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit <laughs> on the... Some of them are already pressed, okay? So this is... <laughs> Some of them are... <laughs> so this are the Those are the ones you push others. too often. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is what it's gonna That one's like the you. popcorn button. <laughs> Don't call me out like that. <laughs> so, and what we have in the very end is just really simple. We're gonna use the corner of those plates. So we're not gonna use the uh, white area here. We're just gonna use that small area in the end. Which is just gonna poke out perfectly fine, and I love it so much. So let's get another state, another thing. Oh, you did something there. I didn't want to touch it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's Sint. Yeah. He's working over there. 
You just put stage panels in your inventory. Yeah, there you go. Yep. I did. There we go. So let's put them like here. They're going to be next to the buttons, which is basically going to be the exhaustion thing, but also another set of buttons to it. It could be that too, right? It could be multiple oh. things. So you should put those above this time. Just because of the space. Oh, like... What did you think? Or... Also, what we initially... Like, initially, it was supposed to be here. They would... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's directly to the side, originally. You're yeah. right, you're right. And I really like that look. So... You're right. It's... Yeah, this is basically the look that... Midori? Now she. Now she. Now she did this. Wait. Now she... Can you, this can you put, like, a lamp over there? It's, yes. like, really dark. It's really dark. Let's use the water lamp. Oh my god. On what? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, just stick it to the fridge, it's magnetic. Hang on, yeah, hang on, hang on, let's do something. Here. Are you- Oh, that would make such a- <gasps> I just, Oh, I it's just so good as a chandelier! I just thought of it too, so I wanted to search for I it. just- Well, I just saw it on stream, just because that's what yeah. you were doing, but like- Oh, it's so good! Let's use it like- Like here. Man, that's actually pretty cool. Holy shit. <laughs> I like it a lot. Dude, Nayla, I'm the same with the 30 second button. Did someone use that for the back of, like, a handle? Oh. That That'd be a very yeah. chonky about handle, chonky but... <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, I think that looks cool as a hanging light. This is the finalized microwave. It's just a few buttons, just on the side to use the plates and the frame. The brown frame and the handle. Very simple. Very nice. Like, it's just a few... I mean, I guess you could argue that the four altars are a bit, like, pricey of the item slots, but you've seen what I built over there, that a hell, hell of a place, so this is, like, nothing <laughs> compared Well, there's, to there's plenty you could swap it out yeah. with, too, to be a little bit more item-friendly. Yeah, it's, it's very fun. I mean, there are plenty of microwaves that just use, like, dials. You could just switch it out for, like, chronometers mm -hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. Stable slots really easy, still get good Like work. Nayla said, the the Hingen brushes would make good buttons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I, re I agree with that. That would be amazing. So, let's see what you guys had in mind. So, let's start with Scent. What did you do? Oh, I was well... Work... Oh, you were working mm. on something else? I was working on some basic fridge stuff, but I needed handles. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, what do you need? It doesn't what matter. Do you, I, just, I, just some, I just wanted handles, so like... Coffee brewers or some. Oh, okay. I'll go buy you some. Uh, so, just my the fridge that I was working on here is just a little corner fridge. Wait, you have guild, don't you? Just go. To... Coffee brewers are crafted, aren't they? Yeah, just go buy them. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, this fridge that I was making is just a real simple, like, not fancy, not a a bottom freezer fridge. It's just the normal white top freezer. Um, takes two white rectangular partitions and a wooden showcase, and then like you gotta hide something up top. So I used like some plates and some cups to hide the wooden showcase up there. That's a really but nice yeah, color, actually. I like that a lot. I think it's cute and it, it it's simple. It takes three items. Sint added a a fourth there because he put a white rectangular partition line to show right. the divide between the door and the rest of the fridge, which I love. It looks so cool. Um, but yeah, I really like. Yeah, the. I mean, can you like pick up the the wooden showcase real quick and then hit escape just to show like that's what that line is to show the fridge and it's also doubling as the. Yeah, as a service for that. There you go. How many laws does it take up to reach a ice cream up there? Oh, at least three. Yeah. I can't reach the ice cream. You can jump high at least, so. It's like three I know, laws but like. In a trench coat, that's what it needs to open that. Oh, I could jump to reach it, you're right. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> this is a, this like is a, a giant kitchen. If you just jump, like, uh, in a, like, just jump for a longer time, it's like, Mommy, Mommy, give me ice cream. <laughs> okay, I want the ice cream, please. <laughs> oh, thank you for the subs, Billy! Oh my god! Thank you so much, You Billy. guys are really wild! It. You guys... Man, this is really nice. Thank you so much. Billy, oh that's really goodness. nice of you to do. Congratulations for Literally wild. Yeah, you can, can we get some housing parts? You can also Now make a... Parts. Mikote sized cat tree? <laughs> oh fuck, I messed up. Oh well. 
how do you mess up your own thing? Come on. I I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> so Mikoda size one <laughs> to read, but I can't. Cat, cat, cat tree? tree. So hold on, let me think about this. <laughs> go go watch Synth while I think about this. Okay, so Synth, tell us about what you're doing over here. I'm gonna tear down this fridge so right, that we have space. So... What I'm doing is basically a variation of the same fridge, mm -hmm. except it's a little bit more flexible. In the case of, or like, how do you mean flexible? I mean, just place this really quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the lot the black line again. That looks so. You strange. see the look at the black, the horizontal line made with the cutting boards. I mean, it's just that a vendor really item. It's so. Strange. It's just a vendor item, it's just like such a clean black line, that is just so gorgeous. Yeah, there. so, handle's in the wrong place, but the point of me doing this is, you can place the cutting boards any height you want. So, these rectangular petition fridges tend to be really tall, yeah. uh, as we all know the snapping point of them is really high. So you can, if you want to, you can float this through the base. You mm. can then put your horizontal line anywhere you want, and you can kind of build the fridge at a, like, a more realistic size. Yeah. So with everyone using like kind of showcases or merchant shelves and stuff in the past, you're kind of locked to like a position of where you want the doors. True. Kind of use... Yeah. Then using the cutting boards and you know the black seal on the side, you can move the doors to where you want. You can change the height of the fridge to where you want. Uh, I messed around before with floating a white screen to the top of it to actually put a top to it, so you didn't need to have a roof over the top of it. Mm -hmm. I really like that you don't have to do that in that case. That's such a nice alternative and such a flat back. So, <coughs> excuse me. If you have like, <laughs> if you have like an other room on the side, you don't have to use like, like white space to actually cover that area. So you can cramp it up really nicely, actually. Yeah, it's just a small variation on the, uh, you know, the regular rectangular petition one. Mm -hmm. Just lets you have more of a, like kind of room to play with. Yeah, definitely. It's really nice. Like uh, having some fridges is just so cool, and I really love when people do like those black or like dark gray metal fridges. They look so fancy. I love it so much. I'm a big fan. Ooh, I we should make a double door. That would look cool. Dumbledore. D no, <laughs> a double door fridge. <laughs> he goes double door. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely do that. Oh lord. Before that, do we have Ooh. anything else that we plan to actually create? Yeah, I'm gonna make the curved monitor unless you want. Oh, We're here yeah. in this corner. Yeah, go for it. Go Is for that it. gonna snap at that distance? Uh, it shouldn't if Hopefully. they're backwards. Let's see. I'm just gonna just just check in before you upset yourself accidentally. Yeah, no, no, it, it shouldn't because these are natural walls, so shouldn't be. Doesn't still snap. Uh... Not backwards. Oh yeah, okay, I see what you mean, I see what you mean. And the light is gonna... How's, how's the light gonna come through? It's gonna come through because it's the... So is it the southern wall? Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean... Don't worry about the light right now, it's, it's <laughs> night, it's fine. <laughs> Before you see them on the outside, yeah, glitching into the void and then seeing them there. What about we do the retro TV? Ooh. You know, I actually already have one built in my FC chambers. I could just go grab all those maps. We could also just go to your FC chambers and like break it up small, uh, like one by one if you want to. Yeah, let's just go to my FC chambers and tear it apart. <laughs> <laughs> Not tear it apart, just like, you know, drag it out just... with like escape. Yeah, but... You, we want to show you guys how to build it, of you, course. I was gonna say, you can't do that, though, because it's my FC chamber. I just remembered that. <laughs> well, we can go have a look at it while you're working on this window, can't we? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, but... The, like, showing how it's built is... Right, I've it's, it's not really that different. It's You're literally just curving with... Yeah. Sorry, Ryan, I've been... But up. yeah, you can... You right. can Go look at it real quick if you want. Yeah, sure. Let me go take a look. All right, sorry. I'm, I've been up for like 48 hours of like two hours of sleep in between, and I just came back from raiding. I was just a bit Why too... would you do that to your? Just uh, people. Gotta... Need sleep. I I know, but you know. 
gamers. Um, there's just so much stuff to do, yet so, so little time. <laughs> a retro a mic stand. A stand? I, I haven't seen a, a mic stand that I really am... Like, I haven't seen a mic stand yet that I, like, feel is believable, the honestly. Issue with, the issue with making something like that is just that we don't have any, like, thin... Thin, like, stand thing. Like, like we have we like, have some, but, like, it... Nothing of them works. I was also thinking of the yeah. air tab, but they're, like... It's like... The, the air tabs, the Riviera Chronom... Or, the Riviera Vases, I mean, like... There's some thing. It's just not well supported. It's like trying to make a custom canopy bed at the moment. You've just not got very much good to make posts. Right. Like, I, I love... I, I would want to be able to make it with... Um, like, something like the Manor Candelabra, right? Except there's candles mm -hmm. at the top. <laughs> yeah. So here we have uh, Rhapsody's TV. Oh, the retro no. TV. And I wouldn't say it's mine per se. I got the idea from what Zeno. Zeno, yeah, and that's just so smart. I actually don't quite know what those. There's are. okay. There's so... a breakdown video of this, by I the way, know, on I our know. YouTube channel. I know. <laughs> just but... like I have no idea what this is. You know, sometimes it's just to be like that. <laughs> hey, I I know the items for this at least. So go ahead and take it away. The wooden plates show up again as they do with the microwave. That's easily recognized. Oh, yeah. That's... Below it, the two dials. They're the mm -hmm. table chronometers, the Riviera one. Yeah, those are. Screen. Oh, like... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. The screen's the level tracker. Everyone's seen it. You can turn it on. It's. The main counting is the backside. It's the backside, isn't it? Of the glaive carton. Mm hmm. The aerial. It's twin adder banners, and they're turned sideways. Uh, and this is why it's on. This is why it's on a demon wall. So it doesn't snap. Oh, that's actually. Yeah. Mm, that makes sense. So you usually you'd have like, like a triangle shape here to hold the banner up, but since it's rotated, you only see like parts of it. Thank you for the cheers, anonymous. Really appreciate it. Oh, an anonymous cheer. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. Thank you so much. But yeah, this is basically just half of it, and it's very simple that, now that you mention it, and I really like the wood texture with it because it's really retro and classy. Just, yep. I, I've seen some of those too, and I'm like a baby, so... The thing is, you can build this quite easily, like, against the snap wall if you want to, you just mm -hmm. kind of have to... The area will have to be different, or kind of, you know, not have one. Yeah. And this room is so cute. I love the, the weapon display using the, uh... Wait. This is a full threshold panel wall? Yeah! Yep. I did- I've, oh, wait, that's I've so sheeked weird. once or twice. That's so weird, do you see wh what is happening? Like, if you go far away, the light... It's just like, it looks like a ba black background, but I like, walked up and I saw, like, something here, and it turns out Gosetsu. it's Gosetsu and Yugiri. Yeah. Why are they like black when I go away? Is it because of a weapon or? Because like... it's. No, it's because it's backwards. That's so weird. Why can I see? But I can see it. Like I can see them. Yeah. Like that picture is so strange. It doesn't like it. <laughs> it. If you turn it backwards, you can still see the picture, but like, it just doesn't have. I don't know the proper texture anymore. So it just turns black. Question. Yeah, that's just a transparent. Is that a transparent item in that case? Uh, no. Not exactly. Nayla is being really passionate about this lamp. The otter otter lamp. I it's love really it. It's really cute. Uh, what about a film camera? Oh god, I saw like a very old school photo camera, like on a stand. Which was really nice. I like that one a lot. I feel like I would probably make that with uh, grocery bags. Yeah. You, oh yeah. my god, you can make everything out of grocery bags at this point. Holy shit. 
But then there's even immersive because it's like the uh, thing that you put your head in and stuff. <laughs> Which the is really thing funny. that you put your head in? Oh, you know how you like have one of those old school cars? You have like, like cloth thing. You have to you have to go into it. Oh, a like a, a photo camera, not a film camera. Yes, but I was like thinking that a film camera would be just too hard. Oh, I see. Actually, because I feel like it's it like, would be easier. It's so sl because it's like, like so slim, you know. And so, to make those things, it's like it takes a bunch of shit, which is, which is basically very bulky. And I was like, hmm, what could it be? Ending windows is hard. Okay, there's one thing I really want to uh, want to see built properly. No joke, a narrow iron work spiral staircase. That's yeah, possible. we all want it. If you think about it, like there's those spiral staircases using the uh, metal, um, the Rivera uh, shelves, right? Technically, I saw a few of those. I mean, those have been around forever. Yeah, for ages, I know, but like you don't have like, we just don't have the fucking stripping pole or something. Oh my god! Like we need that for so many things. Like yeah, so like I would. Taps. <laughs> like, to make it narrow is the tough part. Because, like, it's pretty easy to do a spiral staircase around, like, a glade, um, what do you call it? Pillar? Yeah. It's the narrow part that's difficult. So, like, again, um, manor candelabra is super narrow, um, but not very tall. Because then you have candles. Now, if you can integrate the candles into the column, and you're, and you don't mind that, like, then more power to you. Yeah, um, true. item slots heavy, but if you wanted to do the the Riviera vases, um, I mean, gosh, what else has a narrow pole, or what else could make one to make a metal? There's nothing really. What call That's it? an issue with that. Look at your uh, preview. Do your favorite thing. Look at item preview. Yeah, that's what I do all day. I just stare at the item preview and figure things out. <laughs> See. You've never seen that lamp? Yeah, it's because it's like not even in the preview, it's like my mock station thing, right? No, the plushie. No, 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 it was a plushie given away at a fan fest. Did you get the plushie from. Uh, oh, on like eBay? Oh, okay, I see. Uh, preview, let's see. So, let's go over the new items. Maybe we haven't seen something that we could use. I'm almost done window bending if you want to kind of stare at me over here. Yep. Everybody stop what you're doing and pay attention to me. I'm gonna look at you while I go for the preview items. Huh. Oh, jeez. Oh, On your screen it looks like I'm fucking up right. Yeah, it looks like it, but that's fine. Rope station was the item called that I used for the hydraulic ropes. You can use a bunch of milk bags. A bunch of milk bags? Yeah, just no milk. Milk cartons, bags? Milk cartons, sorry, milk cartons. What is this, Canada? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you bag. use milk bags no, in we Germany? Don't. We don't. We don't. We use those big cartons, but you know, I've seen them in Russia too. So you could. Div and Volk me. now both suddenly Canadian. Speaking of German, sorry about the German. Uh, Sorry about the, the German. No, there was like German commercial. Where are we German going with this? <laughs> right. Um, just take a bunch of the milk cartons. Like you make like what? an entire beam out of it. To make a the metal. <laughs> yes. What? You, what? <laughs> Hold on. No, was there's got to be something better. It's just a joke. Oh, okay. Oh God, sorry. Wait, did you clear? No, no, he was yelling about Cruise Chaser. <laughs> okay, good. I was like, oh my god, poor guy. They they can literally clear any pole. I know, like, baby. Come on, guy. Just one clear, clean wormhole and it's over. I know, right? Let's see. I don't see any... You could technically stick a bunch of Rivera tools. Like, it would... Yo, that would have a nice shape. If you think about it, right? Like the stools, <gasps> the glade stools. Yo, 
What? Diver glides towards the black you? and stack them on top of each other. Like all the way. Ah! Jeez! I don't know what you're doing, but it just grabbed. Ah! <laughs> it, like, shit's grabbing when it's, like, when I'm mid move. Yeah. Because of the item density. I can have the item density. This is so. You could. You, you could make, like, some compromises, actually. We use 500 butterfly specimens. Yeah, dude. I've seen that. That was amazing. I'm gonna use this in the next build, probably. This is so nice. I think you could stack a bunch of those things on top of each other, so it's like, it has like a thin in, like, it will always have like the thin metal bar, then it's gonna have a thick disc, then it's a bare metal bar again. You know what I mean? I think so. But I don't think it's gonna look good like with like a staircase, that's the issue. So let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, as you can hear, the uh, armors again, this is how I use them, like, I used this side here, you can tell, I used, um, just my bad metal frame, by hiding the, uh, there I go, just hiding the wood, you like that, and you still see the pipe, the pipe things there, I really like that. Uh, you can also use the top of it, up here, you can use the bottom of it, like there. There's a lot of things you can do with it, you just gotta experiment with, with it a lot. And, and this, this is what bookshelf, bookshelf looks like. like uh, if, if you don't float it, if you don't float it, like, float it, like that's the back I used inside the wall here, as you can tell. And this is what I used. On the surface. Okay, I think I'm done window bending now. You're done with window bending? I just need to, yeah, I just need to dye these things. Ah, where's the junk monk? Excellent. If we could have like rods like those, that would be amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh, I think you need to go outside. I think I really need to go outside. What the hell is this? Yeah, it's my oh, rod me as well. Oh my gosh! Hey guys, I made a computer, look! <laughs> Beautiful computer, Rob said you're really proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of my creation. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the empty slots, I have like. 50? 40? Something like that? Because that was a bit more, so I didn't. There's an echo? What echo? What? Who has an echo? Me? No, I don't hear an echo. Seems like it's fine for me. Much better. Okay. Hi. Smooth wraps. Oh, look at this beautiful curve. <laughs> look at those curves, man. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so mm. beautiful. Have and you I... made one or two of these before? A couple. Just a couple. A couple of hundred of them. And then, let's see, we can do... I like to do the Riviera chair, weirdly enough, for a... For we? For the, uh... For... What did I use recently? For the holding. For the holding, yes. Let's see. Uh, let me angle it a little. Uh, there's also a kitchen hanger if you want to do the keyboard too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I want... used one of the pieces recently. One of the what pieces? Like Dragoon piece or Temple Knight piece. Kind of oh yeah, like I've seen a oh, red. You can dye those piece. black. Yeah. Yeah, well, you could oh, definitely use a Temple Knight piece. I see that. True. Anyway, uh, oh, let's see, where did the kitchen hanger go? Very smart use of that, actually, I love it a lot. It's just so simple, this tool. Do you guys want a cup of coffee? <laughs> yeah, Always. <please. laughs> You're like, really? Yeah. Oh, very Don't nice. tempt me. Oh, I love it so much. It's such a simple... Oh my it's... gosh, did you... He oh, built a coffee like... machine, very did simple. You, the little Kufri the... slot one. The, the, the simple version of the cure. Yeah, just... The... Maxine's cure. Just a chronometer, or no, what was it called again? Table chronometer. Ah, table chronometer. Yeah. Then, oh, hang on. Uh, thank you so much for following, Lena. We appreciate it. Then we have the uh, Glade Bachelor chest. And of course, the uh, eaten up Rivera supper up here for the actual thing. And if you want to hide it, 
can you can leave it like that, but you can also like you know hide it like this, for example. Okay, guys, what am I doing for this uh, keyboard? Do we do straight keyboard or cur or angled keyboard? Angled. I'm also for Chat. angled. Yeah. Chat. What do you think? Angled keyboard. I have a. Well, because the monitor is angled, so. We had an argument. Oh, the monitor is angled, so straight. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. If it's already angled. The monitor's angled so straight. Yeah. yeah. It's because counterintuitive. Yeah, Come it's, on. it's balancing it out. What? So you tell me you have like one to the side and then you angle yourself towards the other side too? Isn't that like... I I angle my keyboard the way that the monitors angle. Okay, so angle it away from it then. Away from... Why would I angle it away from it? How would I type? 90 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> 90 degrees typing. Sit perfectly between the two and uh, assume a right angle. Just a... Uh... And do what you want to do. Savages, I don't even know. Don't let the savages tell you what to do. I don't know. I <laughs> we did angle. Soul just said, "Type by faith, not by side." <laughs> Type by faith. Oh my god. Do you reckon uh, you've got any of the stuff around uh, for your little mixer, wraps? Uh, da, 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 yeah. Da, da. Sorry. My ad blocker, my ad blocker is not working, so sometimes you hear German music, uh, German commercials in the background. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's a there's a keyboard. I need to. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know why this it's only house. for it's my just, build. It's just this house. It's just this house. Oh, synth stuff shows up fine. Yeah, it just hates your stuff in particular. <laughs> it's my house, house. <laughs> I wanna are people still inside the door? Because I... Some people are. Man, this is very, very laggy with the lights on, actually. I know, Billy! I'm like, guys, look what I built! And everyone's like, good job! Yeah, there we go, look at this beautiful keyboard. I tried to do this one over there too, but it didn't quite work because of the snapping issues I had. That okay, is I so could nice. actually see this. I think this is a U issue, Dev. It would. You I haven't left. I can see this the whole time. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a me <laughs> issue. There, I, there's a lot of me issues. <laughs> Same dude! <laughs> Wait, so I wanna dye it black. It'll look cool. Thank you so much for follow, Kyrie. Really appreciate it. Oh yeah, mouse. The Namazu. Ooh, do we have a Namazu in here? I don't think we have a Namazu. What? To grab one? What kind of house doesn't have a Namazu? Oh, I can go get one. Let me go. Oh, oh no, I dyed it black and now you can see the imperfections. Uh. Got I dead pixels, I... man. Oh, yes, I killed I know. Pixel. Jesus. <laughs> I've, I've killed. No, that's uh, just run no, the no, color no, card no, right no, 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 it's just the screen is just a bit broken. It's not a perfect one, it's just a bit older, you know? It's just like a. <laughs> just a full I threw, I threw my mouse a couple times, guys. Wormhole in a nutshell. Yeah. All right, let me go get a Namazu, and then what are we building next? Uh, the stand mix. Yeah, it's cute. No one ever does it. Let's. Are uh, there? We only need a few items, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Look in storage. See what I'd need. Right. That's not the right Namazu. We need the plushie. We need. We need the plushie, not the actual NPC. Let's see. Let's see, we need a Namazu plushie. Stuff Namazu. Wow, I had the stuff. Oh yeah, I've got to show you on stream how it's gonna look like while she's getting in. We need everything for the mixer apart from the chronometer. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Help me right there! Uh, you might want to make a, a counter, a surface, to be able to... This is, a, this is a Magitek monitor. This is a Magitek monitor that functions with hand gestures. Mice are for <laughs> and savages. Fucking Michael Reeves TV mm. screen. Let's see. Wait, Where's did you say float marble? Sure, or log or whatever. I, I, I'm on this. I'm on that. This is a bit. <laughs> this is a bit of me. Scent loves floating. Oh yeah, he do. He, he it's a love hate relationship. Very unhealthy and toxic. How many shells we got? Very good. This is Venomacy. And it's gonna float up like... So, 
Do you see how like the head of the, the top of the head glitches into the table? This is gonna be our mouse, and this is what's gonna be shown. I can't I can't place it. Like if I just place it here, it's just gonna be never as but you know. What's with the loft and the wall upstairs? I don't know. That's a great question. What is with the loft and the wall upstairs? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, Billy. I just placed it here randomly and forgot about it because I didn't have to shrink, uh, I didn't have to uh, turn back on the item slots, <laughs> so I kind of just left it there. <laughs> but yeah, I'll remove it. I'll remove the unnecessary things. Oh yeah, let me show you guys. Someone asked me how it looks from the bottom. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> and uh, it's weird. <laughs> I just like this is the railing part here. This is the like floated little ga uh, uh, metal plates. And this is the entire staircase that is covering the wooden staircase and the tables up there with the set painting. And this is just all decoration up there in the cerulean tank area. I don't know what this is about, Sint, <laughs> but you do you. <laughs> Throwing a counter. Oh yeah, right. You're making a marble counter down there. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> He'd already forgotten. Yeah. And okay, I come like... bearing item. Good. This is what it looks like from top life. Well, this is like a bit messy. It's a lot. <laughs> but oh well. I actually come bearing the exact items that were used in the... Perfect. Namazu had over. Because I head throw for sure. nothing away. Save it. Just, honestly, Final Fantasy XIV just enables my hoarding. What the f What the f Yo, since did you 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 will have to check the stream later what you just did. <laughs> you literally placed those. You oh yeah, I've just up. seen it. Yeah. <laughs> And then you, it was like you lifted us up perfect, like it's coming up from the ground. <laughs> that was funny. He's an earthbender. Oh my god, he's an actual earthbender. Alright, I'm taking down the monitor so that we have item slots. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Oh wait, no, sorry, you still wanted to do the Namazu. Here you is want, your Namazu. Do you want me to remove the uh, thing? No, no, go ahead and you the, can make the, the Namazu mouse. Okay, oh, the fridge? Sure, go for it. I'll do it. I'm like, he's like a ping pong. He's like, I don't know what to do. I'm so overwhelmed with everything right now. That's a lot of stimulus. Stimuli. Stimuli. That's a lie. Where's the numbers? I can't see it. Well, oh. he's under there. There you go. There he is, the boy. <laughs> he's a small boy. He's just a small boy in a big world. Oh. Ah. Okay. Hang on, let's place him. Where are he supposed to be? Which is basically gonna be. I'm making this very complicated for myself. <laughs> As always, kinda. It's also gonna be an. Yeah, I don't know place. what you're doing. Oh. Oh no, did you see what just the happened? struggle, bud. Oh my god. Oh, oh! It's because of the... the density... I wanna kill myself. Why are, you, why are you not just using a shelf? Because it's too far away from the uh, wall up there, so... Also, I want to prove a point. Oh my god. There Making it go. so difficult for yourself. Yes, exactly. There we go. Okay. There's the mouse. Perfect. We've done it. We actually done it. Div was not defeated by the Namazu today. I'm so afraid, but we yeeted something through the apartment and everything snapped at this point. There you go, there's the yeah, mouse. Right. Using the, uh, the Namazu plushie. It's very simple, very clean, very good. Don't tell him, don't tell him you don't see it. Oh, uh, well, you it's see it. It's just on my screen. <laughs> oh, I don't see it on my <laughs> screen. It's just a you thing. Just a me thing, yep. So, do you want to build the. Uh, who's building the 
mixer. Sinda, are you working on this right now? I think he's just decorating. Oh, building an area. Yeah. He's, he's setting the scene. Oh my god. I thought you were all about immersion, Div. I know. Usually, yes. <laughs> what is happening? You build it, Div. Because it's. Oh, mukbang. I'm just... Actually, it's not really a mukbang if you're just drinking wine, is it? I'm getting drunk. <laughs> just getting drunk as fuck. Um, I don't know what the mixer looks like. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't even look at my break it downs, this guy. I'm. Oh, give me give me a second, I'm gonna be right back. This guy. Or are you both Guys, I think I broke div. I'm like intently staring at Synth. Are you building it correctly? Oh! Will it work though? Without a uh, backsplash? Hmm. It should. Nayla, there's one random loft up. Is someone muted? Question mark. Div had to AFK for a second, and since building, so he's he's focused. I'm here. I'm just muting myself on the stream because I legit can't fucking speak. Just give me. Give me oh, <laughs> Div's so tired. What time is it there? I'm just gonna let you guys. Uh, no, I'm just gonna. Uh... Oh, actually, hang on. I'm just he gonna. Might be. I'm just. I'm just gonna. You know show you how they build it, but I, I'm not gonna say much more because so yeah, I'm not <laughs> done. Fine. That's fine, this can be our last build. Yeah, you should you should crunch the apple, like the one I don't have any apples crunch. <laughs> oh poor Div. So late for him. I love this mixer so much. My wine red mixer. I can't remember which way around the lantern is. Uh, it goes inside the... Like the... Is it backwards? No, no, the lamp is just like hidden inside the macaron. Okay. It, like the, the whole structure of it like lines up with the... I don't even know. I, Apparently I'm tired too, because what? It lines up with the the base and the top. Hmm. Oh, I see. Div's just- I was like, what are you doing, Div? He's just showing the different items. How the hell did the cushion? <laughs> it was it was pretty low down, like sunk down in there. So the the Revere chronometer kind of. Hmm. Let me think about it. It's really tough because I have to watch you on stream because for whatever reason I'm so broken I can't actually see what's happening. Ooh, did you know you could get out from here? 
Like, you can straight up just beeline it for the exit. Oh, I see what the issue is. The mixing bowl needs to just go back a little. That's why it looks a little wonky. It is wonky. I mean, it's not that wonky. It's pretty good. Alternate routes of escape, you right, right? Oh! Soul is a... Soul's our new mannequin. Sad. I actually haven't seen any of these stand mixers in the wild yet. I thought it would be such a cute item, but maybe it's just too many, like, conditional things? Like, purely conditional and having a non-tabletop uh, count. Item slots, yeah, Nayla. I mean, let's be real, I don't even have it in my kitchen, so apparently I am also one of the ones who did not use Yay! There we go, that looks beautiful. Good work, Sint. Good job, Sint. Round of applause. Tried my much. hardest. So beautiful. So let's break it down very, very quickly again. So we have the Nimian will yep. enter for the actual mix up part, mm -hmm. the Rivera table chronometer for the butt of our top part here. For the actual bowl, we have the uh, chilled red that we just drank up, and it's just like a bunch of bottles at the bottom, but you hide it, he hid them inside the uh, marble partitions. Then we have the dragoon piece, which is basically just say, Oh, Jesus. Um, just basically a stand for it. And then of course we have a bottom part of a mixer which is just a macro cushion. Also I just thought about it, you can use like a bunch of drag uh, dragoon pieces sticked up for a pole. Technically. Oh yeah. I think about it. Many item slots, but that would work Many pretty item well. Slots, too. But it would work, definitely. So yeah, uh we built tech. Yay! Yes. <laughs> Y'all just uh thank you for Suggesting some items that was really helpful. We could so that we could build those for you. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna wrap it up because Div seems super tired. <laughs> Give him um, hugs. He's poor sleepy. Okay. Finally, we can have our stripper pole. Yes, dragoon yes. pieces just stacks on stacks on. Just watch out for a mean, spike on the top. So it's good work, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's been a request for a Div dance. Dance us on out, Div. We'll see you next week, guys. Thank you for joining us. Oh no! Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for watching, uh, everyone. I wish you have a great super night. Fun. Have a good rest of your week and happy housing. Happy housing, everyone. See you next time. Bye bye.